This is Jay at Red Hat. And I'm going to go through the basics of how you run the Big Pet Store application on top of Red Hat Storage and how you take advantage of some of the POSIX features of Red Hat Storage to make your big data applications and your big data workflows just a little bit more agile and a lot more convenient for a typical data scientist or anybody else interested in extracting analytics from information. <clears throat> on the fly. The Big Pet Store application is essentially a full stack Hadoop application blueprint that generates an arbitrarily large amount of information that's semantically meaningful and then uses the entire Hadoop stack or at least endeavors to use the entire Hadoop stack to process that information. Here I have a diagram of the architecture of the Big Pet Store application. First we generate as much information as you want. Big Pet Store takes in a number of records. It can be 10, 100, a million, 100 million, whatever. After <clears throat> we generate the input data set, Big Pet Store stores on your distributed file system records that look like this. It's a dirty CSV file, essentially, with temporal information, product information, information of customers, store codes, and dates. It does this by using custom input formats and a custom record reader that's a, capable of taking in an input format and then lazily generating as many records as is required. The record reader itself is responsible for embedding the patterns in the data. One of the advantages of running the Big Pet Store application as a Hadoop blueprint for building your own applications is the fact that it demonstrates how you can develop, test, deploy, and then derive insight from your big, from your big data problem. <clears throat> in an agile sort of way. So as an example of that, let's look at how we develop and test the Big Pet Store application. We can run it locally. By locally, I don't mean on a pseudo Hadoop, a distributed Hadoop instance, but rather simply inside of the JVM by running the various Maven profiles that Big Pet Store comes with. <clears throat> Here's an example of that. Inside of the Big Pet Store project, I can directly run an integration test against Pig that runs Pig in local mode. As you can see, I was able to generate <clears throat> several records and do some aggregations on them and this represents the analytics portion of our pipeline that will eventually run at scale. And we can also see that PIG before running the analytics went ahead and cleaned our data for us. We can run this particular application in any Hadoop environment. In a moment I'll demonstrate how we can run it on Red Hat Storage with Gluster, but we can also run it on Elastic MapReduce against the S3 file system, essentially any HCFS file system <coughs> will support the Big Pet Store application. We've only tested it on Hadoop 2x because we're using some of the newer file system APIs, but we may port it to 1x at some point. The data flow looks something like this. First we generate raw information, which I've already showed you. Then we clean the data. Then we ship Big Pet Store with a post-processing script that runs a pig job to do some aggregations. 
These are the three currently supported operations of the Big Pet Store. We also have code inside of Big Pet Store that builds a Mahout view of our data based on hashes using Hive and also recommendation code for the Mahout portion of our workflow which allows us to recommend products. That's it for the big pet store portion of our talk. At the end, at the end of our workflow, we ultimately get data which we can paste into the big pet store web app so we can visualize which products were most popular in which states. Now let's go ahead and deploy Big Pet Store at scale on a Red Hat storage instance that's running Hadoop and Apache Ambari. The first thing we're going to do is generate our data. We've already tested it locally, so we're pretty sure it'll work. Normally, we'd copy the jar using SCP to our head cluster node, or else we'd pull it down from a continuing integration server or a Maven repository. At that point, the jar file is here in our cluster. <clears throat> the first thing we're going to want to do is generate a data set. Let's generate a 10,000 record data set. Well, this proceeds, I'll pull up what we expect to see again in my local environment. Good, looks like it works. As you can tell, we didn't read a lot of data in initially, but we definitely wrote a lot out. <clears throat> One of the nice things, again, about our POSIX compliant file system is I can go ahead and verify that I have approximately the right amount of data. And I can look at the first few records without having to pull it out of the distributed file system manually. Looks good. <clears throat> you can already see that there are some patterns in the data. The next thing we'll do is process with pig. Again, while we do this, let's play around in local mode and look at what's happening. This pig script has a lot of comments in it because of the fact that it's meant to demonstrate how pig works. But where there's really only two important functional parts to the code, the grouping by state and product and then the summary. <clears throat> the summary portion of our query is the part that formats the data so that it works properly with the Big Pet Store web app. Now the analytics phase is starting. The analytics phase is the second argument that's sent in to the pig script.
finally we can see that we have 28 records stored in the pig analytics portion of our pipeline. Now to demonstrate that we can also do typical Hadoop tasks on our file system, let's use Hadoop to list our data instead. As you can see, the Hadoop file system APIs work just fine with our <clears throat> existing GlusterFS plugin. Now let's go ahead and cat our file. It looks good. However, there's one missing portion. We don't have a preceding country code on top of each state. So if we use this data inside Big Pets inside the Big Pet Store web app, it won't work. So let's take advantage of the fact that we have a POSIX file system to clean this data on the fly. I just did a sed replace. The sed replace appended the US string to the very beginning of each state code. That should allow me to visualize my data in Big Pet Store. Great. Now let's see where fish food's most popular. And what about duck collars? Looks like they're only selling in Oklahoma. Finally, I can go back and look at another product, maybe a more popular one. Cat food. So we can see that we were able to do aggregated <coughs> queries that summarized our information, which products were which most important by state, and then visualize that data inside the Big Pet Store web app, all inside of Red Hat Storage. For the most part, this workflow is almost identical in a typical Hadoop environment, whether it ran on HDFS or the S3 file system or any other Hadoop compatible file system. But one of the big advantages of running this whole workflow against Gluster is that we were able to change the data on the fly so that it fit in with what we needed on our front end to do the last minute analysis of product distributions by country, by state. Lastly, we want to thank the folks that helped us out on the Big Pet Store application, including the Apache Big Top community and Nigel Savage, Matt Fenwick, and some of the folks from the OpenStack Sahara community. Without your help, we wouldn't have been able to make this awesome demo.